Fetty Zai, Kosovo, Murofest, let's go! Welcome to Ferry's Eye Kosovo, where you join me documenting the seventh edition of the region's biggest public art project, Murofest Kosovo. Beyond a series of beautiful new pieces of artwork being installed around the city lies a program that is galvanizing a new generation of young art fans. So join me, Doug Gillen, as I get to know the city, learn about the political complications often associated with it, and get to the heart of a public art program that is reimagining the landscape here in more ways than one. Let's go! What is the mission of Murofest Kosovo? The uh, mission of Murofest Kosovo is the development of culture in the past. It is already the development of a specific way, such as street art, uh, art in public, and it is the development of the culture of art in the past for the future of the country. The theme of the festival is on offline, and I wanted to kind of approach it Focusing a little bit more on the kind of the offline, I chose to paint one of the artists that is kind of helping out and volunteering with the project and a, a wonderful painter named Valera. It is sort of a portrait of her connecting with a traditional medicinal plant that's been used in Kosovo for years as a tea and in, in, in different oils and is used as used to treat anxiety and depression. We have a lot of history that is historical. We have a lot of history that is offline. We have a lot of history that is not only a lot of chaos, social, and a lot of history that is not only 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 a lot of Para mí lo más ideal, que normalmente pinto pues eso, personas, caras de personas. Y bueno, me dijeron que era una escuela de música, una escuela de arte, y quería, quería que tuviera pues eso, relación con el muro, con, 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 o sea, que la obra tuviera relación con el sitio, con el lugar. Me hablaron de, de este chico que, que, que toca el piano, que es un artista, que tiene síndrome de Down, y me pareció muy, muy buena idea para dar eh, visibilidad pues, a la gente que tiene síndrome de Down, que tiene a lo mejor el mismo arte que, que tiene cualquier otra persona. <laughs> that would be perfect camouflage. Uh, we're painting the tunnel. We decided to paint it green. I'm gonna do it in a um, form of uh, the back of the computer, so it, it like it matches with the technology. We're trying to cover all this empty space like with some colors and make it beautiful. I feel so good when it's it, it, it's appreciated by by the people here. It motivates me to keep going. What do you think murals like this do for the town? To make city uh, more beautiful and uh, for the uh, tourists that come here uh, to see how uh, our culture, we, we do ours. We have culture like we are not that behind with uh, the others because I love doing murals. I love working with others and that's all I want in my life. I think these murals make people be aware about uh, what's happening to us. Like this time, the on offline, people can see that actually we're on from homes, like on our phones or internet. But actually we are off because, because we aren't doing anything. You have been assisting Mate. Uh, how was that experience? Uh, tell me honestly. Yeah, very good because Mate wanted to work with me and uh, he uh, he let me to work with details, not just a, a space and uh, it was very good uh, to, to work with him. There's a lot of volunteers that are all working together to make this all happen and helping the artists out, learning from the artists, inspiring the artists themselves 
and there's just this really, really sweet engagement between the city and the artist, which it's a dialogue. Like I said, the inspiration, both, it goes both ways. Now you've been involved in some of these murals yourself? Uh, yes, of course. Which one are you most proud of? I'm proud of uh, the one we did under there. It was the, the city of Ferizai. It's a great, it's a really good one, that one. I like that one. What is your favorite mural in the city of Ferizai? I don't know, I don't have a uh, favorite because all of them is good. No, you have to pick a favorite. Uh, <laughs> is the Max uh, and he is doing the one girl, Rineta. Yeah. I like it so much because they are my friends, Rineta. Every participating artist at Mural Fest is invited to host their own workshop. They could be a couple of hours, others go on for days. They range from digital art, painting, I even managed to do one on the art of storytelling through imagery. I was asked to um, engage with students who wanted to approach a community project. Firstly, I talked to them through my ideas of how my approach would be, what I would normally do in that situation, how I would engage with local population. Where are we and what are we doing? We're going to the neighbourhood to interview some people. We went to this uh, neighbourhood called uh, Salahone, which in our country is uh, kind of known that is this neighbourhood of uh, minorities. And uh, we kind of went there to uh, connect with the uh, communities. We tried to take stories out from them, you know, something to, to give us to work on. They're the fundamentals of, of uh, the city. You can only imagine what, what they went through, they went through I mean. After the first day, they went and they spoke to various different people and they came up with some initial ideas that we then sat down with. From there, they're gonna, they're gonna attempt to, to produce one of these murals from, from one of these ideas from the workshop. I don't know, I feel like there is, it creates this connection between the people that create art and the people that don't create art. It just creates a, a healthy environment, I think. On the surface, Berizai feels like a really socially open and liberal place, but actually I think it's quite a conservative city. How has the response been to some of this quite, you know, open creativity and expression through the murals? How's that been received? It's been a very chant. As to all the activities that the Fusha Street Art Yanni Nitsunga got van de tem, duke per shia da veten. The in period that po flas po parada de viteve person veite tutje ka chen shum tabu chini voice te gite na skele o se te realizon ala ni mural. Dukën qytetarët më konservativë, por mendoj që është bon një thymi, është bon një përparim shumë i madhë dhe ne jemi shumë të knaqër që kemi bakët ndryshim dhe sot në Feriza e shumë normale dhe është këthy në normalitet që të shihen vajza të reja ose dhe gra në skele ose në nalësit larta me punu në skele. Normalit që gjithë se bashku duhet me ba ndryshime dhe ne mendoj se artistikisht jemi në rrugën e duar dhe kemi përparu mjaftë shumë në këtë aspekt. Kando me invitaron a venir, no sé si es por el, seguramente si es por el puro desconocimiento que tenemos sobre ciertos países, por ciertos prejuicios que tenemos también. Cuando hablábamos de Kosovo, normalmente en España suena como a guerra, suena como a algo, algo que sucedió, que realmente forma parte de este país y de la historia de este país. If you're my age or older, there's a strong chance you associate the name Kosovo with war. Following the breakup of Yugoslavia in the 90s, the then Serbian leader Slobodan Milosevic instigated a violent campaign of ethnic cleansing in the region. In 1998, this came to the doorstep of Kosovo in one of the bloodiest conflicts seen in Europe for a generation. Milosevic wanted to keep Kosovo as part of Serbia. He rallied the minority Serb population and further divided Kosovo. In 1998, when the country was under control of Serbia, Albanian-backed militants known as the Kosovo Liberation Army launched an insurgency in Kosovo in a bid to gain independence. Serbian troops moved in, massacres occurred, and eventually NATO intervened, launching airstrikes to assist the Albanians. This led to the end of the war, 
paving the way to Kosovo's independence. To be honest, it's really hard not to draw parallels between what happened here in the late 90s to what's currently happening between Russia and Ukraine. 40% of Kosovo's population is currently under the age of 25, which means they weren't even born when the war started. But when you walk around the streets, there's no shortage of these large bronze military statues, this kind of constant reminder of this political tension. I think this idea of looking forward is what makes the murals that are being created here so important. When I was first came here, one of the things that I noticed, which was quite different to where I'm from, is the number of like soldiers and military figures, and then how different the murals are. How do you feel about this difference? Pieces, pieces do my in Kosovo, and I some sana tempo nung na prey, prey, shtetit prey njerzve që dritojn kët sana dhe artistat në Kosovë në nuk është që dojnë me bocët sen, por është puna të puna e ekonomijës edhe bojnë për pare. është nashta e të prune kje puna e skulpturave monumentale, sepse nëse një turist vjenë në Kosovë edhe shë që kitë punimit janë me ka me ormë në zeta dhe Favorite moment from um, any of the experiences you've had with Mural Fest? Actually, yeah. When uh, when I first came here, uh, Lebibe was my professor, and she was like, not uh, not in the same way that we are now. And when we came, like we started uh, we started speaking, and I was like, whoa, I, I didn't know this woman. Now I can uh, speak to Lebibe like a friend, actually like a mother, because she takes uh, care of us. I think that energy or that synergy really comes from at one, like it comes from the leadership and it comes from the team that's putting this together, Lubibe and Fortuna and, and everyone else, but it also comes from the, the youth just being really engaged and really interested. Do you think you're going to be a mural painter when you're older? I guess so, yeah. Nice. Good career choice. Look down the camera and give a message to the people of the world. All of them are going to be watching this. Uh, maybe I'll just say that I love you all. What is your message to the people of the world? Just be yourself. I don't know. Just, just fucking be yourself. Just be yourself, okay? Yes. With an ever-increased presence of mural festivals in cities around the world, I'm always on the lookout for the ones with that winning formula. The ones that manage to hit that sweet spot of cultivating large-scale murals that get the attention on social media but embed deep roots within the environment and really consider the legacy and the long-term impact of the work that they're creating. Only time will tell what lies in store for the future of Mural Fest Kosovo and for the region itself. But I really look forward to the day where I start seeing some of the artists that we've seen here in Ferry's Eye appear in the mural circuit around the world. In the meantime, they really do need to sort out this train station. Margate is a pretty long walk. <laughs>